you know, you, you, we're, we're playing good, you know. And, you know, because we beat a team by 50, there's a tendency to demean the game or demean the team we beat. Uh, but there's teams in these teams' leagues, this team's leagues that's going on the road beating other teams. Uh, Arkansas Pine Bluff the other night led Oklahoma State at halftime. So we prepare our, game, our, our kids the same way no matter who we play, and we play for 40 minutes. We play hard and we play the right way. Um, I, I could see a lot of improvement um, defensively from the Prairie View game to this game. I thought our defense was a lot better. We foul too much. I have to take some responsibility for that and that, you know, we, we teach our kids to play really aggressive. Now we've got to play really aggressive and smarter. Uh, but we've, we're two games into this thing. Um, you know, we turned that team over 23 times a night because of our aggressiveness. So, you know, aggressiveness is kind of like a, a quarterback that throws seven touchdowns and has three interceptions. If you start trying to correct his interceptions, you, you may not get his touchdown passes. Sometimes you got to let your kids learn by uh, trial and error. Uh, but that's obviously something that we're going to be really starting to hone in on in practice. As a matter of fact, I'm a, I told my assistants downstairs starting Monday, we're going to bring uh, referees in to start refereeing our practice practices and call them tight so our, our kids will, you know, stop hand checking. And, but a lot of this also is due to the new rules. I mean, they're, they're, they're calling everything. Half the fouls that were called against us tonight, for instance, would not have been called last year. Um, because these referees, they go to clinics, they, they go to seminars, they get evaluated, they get coached and taught. And they want, uh, the powers that be said, we want a free-flowing, cleaner, offensive game. So we're not going to allow any contact whatsoever. Um, you know, we put that team on the free throw line 30 times. I mean, that's ridiculous. But that's something that we're going to have to adjust to. Just the process of exactly what the reps are going to call yeah. the no, That's a great point, John. I think um, we, we have to learn that. You know, teams like that team wasn't a very aggressive defensive team. So obviously, they, I, mean, I mean, they didn't touch us. Um, but for us, we, we've just got to, uh, we'll edit the tape, we'll edit every foul, and we'll bring our kids in and what the assistant coaches will put it on their iPads and show them, look what you did on this drive. You know, uh, better angle, um, um, went in the first dribble better. You know, when you lose the first dribble, that means you're, you're being reactive. Uh, if you win the first dribble, now you can be proactive. So we gotta learn, we've got to do a better job of winning the first dribble, uh, and then we've got to get into the right spot. Now, Bert, uh, Bert, Bert could have four fouls just uh, in stretching. I mean, he, he can go out there and stretch and have three fouls. I mean, Bert's a fouler. So I'm not sure if I'm ever get Bert out of fouling. And um, Rob, I'm not sure Rob could guard the back door with two cannons. So, you know, g guys that are poor defenders tend to foul a lot. Uh, uh, good defenders tend not to. The, the guy that can do a lot better is LaRon. LaRon had four fouls tonight just on touching the guy on drives. Move your feet, LaRon. Quit, quit reaching. So... But uh, all those things can be corrected. You know, we're talking about areas of the game that we're going to get a lot better in. Um, but I saw a lot of improvement in, in our defense just over two games. Galen and Rob, when you're out there in a game like this and you're up by as much as you are, how, how difficult do you find it to stay playing the game you're supposed to be playing and not, going, not getting too wild? No, it's not too difficult at all because uh, Coach Sampson does a good job staying on us. And, uh, keeping us focused on the task at hand. So um, there might be a few plays where we, we're not as focused as we need to, but uh, you know he can get onto us and get us to focus and get back to the intensity we need to play at pretty easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah to follow what Rob said, you know, um, just, just stay aggressive and keep playing hard. Uh, don't, you know, we have an agenda before every game about, you know, the team. And uh, we try to follow up on the plan and um, just stay aggressive. Coach Sampson, how do you like the defense from tonight than last game? Um, breakdowns, not as many breakdowns. Um, you know, s some of these kids, um, 
are coming from programs where, you know, they, they didn't play defense. You know, it's going to take some of these guys probably a, a month. You know, today's November the 21st, so uh, I see a lot of improvement. Where I really see the improvement this week was in practice. You know, if you, if you broke down and watched our, de our first 10 defensive possessions tonight, you probably saw no mistakes, none. Now, if they, they, if they scored, that doesn't mean we made a mistake. It means they made a tough shot. I mean, we went out one time and really contested a three, and they made it. Um, um, but I think, they're, I think the first uh, eight minutes of the game, they only had five points. But that's, what, that's the improvement. You know, and then the last six points they scored, I think the first half was on free throws. And I think at halftime, they had 20 points. So think about it, you know. I mean, baskets that they scored the first half. That, that's defense. I, you, know, you know, you can belittle who we're playing all you want. Uh, this time of year, I, I just look at all these teams that are getting beat by people. You know, um, you got to guard, man. Uh, you know, whoever's on the schedule, we have to guard that team. Now, against Prairie View, it was our first game. Uh, I, I didn't, we had to start somewhere. So that game was in the books. We, we tagged it, we cataloged it, we edited it, and we showed it. We went to practice this week and really worked hard on it. And I saw a lot of improvement from then to tonight. Now, when you start running guys in and out, um, you know, defense is a lot about trust. And where defense is going to create a lot of offense out of our defense, too, because we, we're athletic and we, um, you know, we get in passing lanes and we use our length and, and, and our active hands. And, get deflections and loose balls. I think, uh, I think there was 11 loose balls tonight, and we got 10 of them. That means we're playing hard. You know, that's important. Kelvin, how important is it in a game like this where you're able to get the lead and you're able to stretch your bench and go to all your guys and just get, and get them game action? Yeah. Well, this time of year, um, people says, who's your starting lineup? I, I, I let them determine it. You know, Galen started at point. Ronnie. Had a great game last game. I don't like way Ronnie practices. Uh, Galen, I said, Galen, you go in there and start tonight. And, and Ronnie comes off the bench and only plays 19 minutes. He has 20 points, four assists, no turnovers, uh, and two steals. Pretty good. You know, our, our, our two point guards tonight had uh, 12 turnovers and no, excuse me, 12 assists and no turnovers. Um, but I thought the point, you know, your defense usually is going to be as good as your point of attack. You know, the point of attack in football is your quarterback. If the quarterback plays good, your team's usually going to play pretty good at that, that, at that end of the field. If our point guards are good defensive, that means we have a chance to be a good defensive team. Our point guards against Prairie View weren't very good. But, you know, G Galen didn't know whether he's on foot or horseback. You know, his family's here. He's from Houston. He's, 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 uh, he's he was chasing about three rabbits. You know, if you chase three rabbits, you're not going to catch any of them. But he's a freshman, you know. <laughs> He's coming from Westbury Christian. He's not ready to play in college yet. He will be, though. Look at the difference in that first game and this game. Coach, the defense you, you mentioned back in the past, it's about effort. Are you seeing that a lot more habit and practice into the game? Yeah, our kids competed tonight. I, I thought our effort was uh, outstanding. Um, I would think if you were asked Coach Samuels, what did you like most about our team? If I was an opposing coach, I'd say how hard they play. You know, that's, that's what jumped out uh, at me about our team. Um, but, you know, we, we have to continue to um, um, get better in that area. You know, if something happens once, it could be an accident. If it happens twice, it might be a coincidence. But when it happens three or more times, now it becomes a habit. So we're working to develop habits. You can't develop habits in January and February. You develop habits in October and November. That's when you work to develop your habits. And we're not there, no teams yet. We're two games into a 31 game season. You know, when we get to our 10th, 11th, 12th game, um, you know, we should be ready to go. But, you know, now we're, something pops up um, every day that we need to work on. You know, like t tonight, um, uh, we've got to do a better job of uh, getting clean defensive rebounds, getting the ball out to our point guards. It's because when we get in transition, that's when we're at our best. We, we're a good running team. But we're getting a lot of stops. Um, uh, but we've got to learn to adjust to the, this, this new refereeing philosophy of calling every all the contact. We've, and it's not the referee's fault. All they're doing is enforcing the rules. They're, 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 and they're doing a good job of it, trust me. But what we've got to do is make sure we understand that you, know, you play defense with your feet, not your hands. We have time for one more question if anybody has it. Robson, how are you feeling after 17 and 8? 
feeling <coughs> very good, especially after the way I played the first game. Um, told Coach told me to come out and play aggressive and play fearless, and uh, that's what I did, and um, I guess it showed.